What's up everybody and welcome to Designing with Halftones Create a Dot Pattern Portrait. My name is John Braun and I'll be teaching you the class. In this class we're going to learn a few different methods for creating halftones including the color halftone filter in both Photoshop and Illustrator, the bitmap method in Photoshop. I'm going to teach you about a plugin called Phantasm by Astute Graphics. And I'm also going to show you a little bit about converting raster halftones to vector ones uh, in Illustrator using the image trace method. So there's a lot of different things to learn. Um, hopefully if you're not familiar with Photoshop or if you're not familiar with Illustrator, you'll still be able to follow the class. And if you're familiar with both, I'm sure you'll love it. It's a little bit of an intermediate class, but if you haven't used them before, you probably can still follow it. If you don't have the program or the plugins, you can also easily download the trials for all of them. So that should be pretty easy. Uh, my friends at Skillshare tell me I'm supposed to tell you about myself. I am from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. We're about an hour north of Toronto, so hopefully you know where that is. If you don't, you should take a geography class. <laughs> now, uh, I've been designing for seven years now. I'm a graphic designer. I also do some illustration, although I've only been doing that for a couple years now. And yeah, I went to school for graphic design uh, back in 2008 is when I graduated, a three-year course. Uh, so yeah, now I live and breathe design and I'm trying to do lots of new things, including teach you. So in this class, I've got lots of cool things. I've got some free uh, textures for you, so you should enjoy those. I've also made a pretty comprehensive outline that goes over each of the different methods, so you can easily refer to it during the class. So yeah, hopefully you check it out and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much, we'll talk to you soon, bye.